Hello everyone, welcome back to the Highly Sensitive Healer YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like, share this video, and turn on those notification bells from what I've said millions and millions of times at this point. With all that being said and out of the way, this evening I'm gonna try something obviously different. I have not shot or done a video like this before. I'm a little nervous for it, I will admit that just like I was the very first time back in January of 2022 when I first shot a video in my car in the driveway. Um, but I'm gonna try this out. And I'm also gonna be using this back fence. Yes, I'm in the back of my mother's home on her back fence. I'm gonna be writing bullet points of what I'm making to you. And I'm gonna balance stones in front of you and explain how these balancing stones have helped me in healing mentally and emotionally. And I'm gonna make those points up and I'm just gonna write them right here. So if you're liking this video, you're, you're, you're following exactly what I'm saying, whatever I'm writing down here, go ahead and jot it down too. I'm telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed. So here we go. And you know, it's important that I explain that, you know, I've, I've been, I've been balancing stones for meditation now for, I'd say it's just over a year now. So I started back in July of last year and from the, from the moment I, I saw a video on YouTube and from that moment on, I was like, I got to try it. And here I am. And this is not a demonstration on actually how to balance stones. This is just on how I use this simple meditation process. And I keep the balance in it. Very simple because I just started myself is what I'm saying. So then you can too. And how I gear this towards my emotional healing and my mental healing. So here we go. Now the technicalities of it, I'm really not going to get into because that's a whole different video. There are technicalities of everything on what I'm doing right now. Um, eventually when I get to that point in balancing, hopefully I do, I will make that video. But I want, I have to say that point number one, let me get my marker here. Point number one um. is without a doubt first and foremost burn patience okay. patience is so important let me oh that's out that's not a in. little bit so this is a trial video everyone my neighbor's helping me out just like my neighbor that's behind the camera right now she's the one that lets me balance all these stones these are all her rocks so you know, I just want to thank her off camera. She doesn't want to be on camera, which is perfectly fine. And I get it, but that's off camera. Yeah, you're good now. Uh, you're good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So if I stay like right here, it'll be on camera. Yeah. Cool. So obviously the first bullet is patience. Now, <laughs> I don't say that lightly because am I on camera? Yeah. So, so if I do okay, good. So patience and I don't get along so well. We never really have. But since I started doing this, since I started balancing stones for myself for the meditation purposes, patience is showing up a lot more in a positive way in my life. And I can give you a quick example of that. Traffic and, and even traffic lights when I'm driving drive me absolutely bonkers. Like they, they do most people. But I get like angry and frustrated very quickly at it. And now I view driving and stopping at a traffic light and some simple traffic as part of the process of getting from point A to point B. And I'm way more patient and understanding now uh, in general. And I don't get as angry anymore. I still get frustrated here and there. But my overall patience has improved tenfold. And I've only been doing this just over a year. The second thing is 
being present and mindful. So, and mindful. So, being in the moment is another way to say it. So, let me be in the moment right now. Am I in? Yeah. That's called being in the moment. That's also called the next biggest thing, which is focus and concentration. And weren't we just talking about concentration not too long ago? Being able to concentrate and watch what you're doing being patient, dialing into what you're doing, paying attention to and being mindful of every single little dimple and every single little crater that is on anything that you're balancing and taking advantage of that little crater, if you will, that little hole, that little, that little indent on that rock to use it to your balancing advantage. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm not gonna do a close-up on all of this stuff because again, this is not a tutorial on how to balance stones. This is about what balancing stones can do for you mentally and emotionally to heal you. And I'd say these three things, because I always like lists of three no matter what. This list is the perfect starting list for my first video like this standing up. But it wouldn't be complete without putting on this last rock and bouncing on top of that. So I'm gonna do that for you, and then we're done. But let me balance this first. And I'm gonna show you the patience, being present and mindful, and the focus and concentration that it takes to get this stone on top of here. Hopefully. Sometimes you gotta recalibrate. You gotta feel the stones. You got. You really got to feel them. Get a feel for what. And like I said, adjustments are part of it. Are a huge part of it. But staying patient with them and staying patient with the process. Oh, I almost had it. We're right there. Maybe. We're there. I'd say the most thing I would probably have said I demonstrated there is patience. Because uh, I will admit to you right now that during that balance just right then and there, I'm like, I know I can balance this thing. Why is it not balancing? Especially on camera. Is it really gonna do this to me right now? That's the thoughts that were going through my head. But then I stopped. I started to become more present in the situation, more mindful of the situation, and patience kicked in. And what I did was I made an adjustment to this second rock from the top and then it all fell into place. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and share this video. Turn on those notification bells. I can't stress that enough. I'm gonna leave you with what I always leave you with, and that is, of course, be kind to others. 
But most of all, please be kind to yourselves. It's known as self-compassion. Take care, everybody.